please, please, no pictures, no pictures. Um, if you want an autograph, please talk to my agent. He can hook you up. I'm sorry. I'm just so busy. Um, I have all these followers and stuff and uh, on Instagram. And I've got to do the latest TikTok video. I mean, you got to give the people what they want, right? Oh, and don't forget about all the people following me on Snapchat. It's, I'm like like a Googleplex level now. Okay? So, um I'm kind of busy and uh, where is my latte? I wanted a skinny vanilla latte on ice, of course. <laughs> yeah, right. It's Miss Word. I don't think she's on that level of celebrityness, but I do like to think that I am semi cool. Maybe, possibly. Turn that light down a little bit. No, I'm not. But hey, at least I own it, right? Um, so you've been hearing all kinds of celebrity read alouds. You have even heard a read aloud from our superintendent. So I can turn that light down too. Okay. And so I decided that I wanted to be just as cool as everybody else, or try to anyways. And I wanted to read a book to you that I, from an author that I read a lot of his books growing up, and it is Shel, Silver, Shel Silverstein. He wrote poetry um, in books called Where the Sidewalk Ends, Light in the Attic. He also wrote a really good book, or wrote a really good book, excuse me, called The Giving Tree. And what I wanna do today is I want to read to you The Missing Piece because I think that this book can really portray some really good life lessons and I'm going to tell you what those lessons are, what those, um, try and get my light right, um, what those uh, themes and lessons can be after we get done reading it. So let's go ahead and read The Missing Piece. And you can tell me, you can send me an email if you liked it, if you didn't like it, or if you would like to read more books. All right. Let me see. How can I do this? Make this, make this a little bit bigger. All right. Here we go. It was missing a piece. So you can see this character right here is missing a piece. And was not happy. So it set off in a search of its missing piece. It needs that piece. And as it rolled, it sang this song. Okay? It sang, Oh, I'm looking for my missing piece. I'm looking for my missing piece. Hide ho, here I go. Looking for my missing piece. Sometimes, oh, it baked in the sun. Whew. But then the cool rain would come down. And sometimes it was frozen by the snow. But then the snow, but the sun would come and warm it up again. And because it was missing its piece, it could not roll very fast. So it would stop and talk to a worm. Or smell a flower. And sometimes it would pass a beetle. And sometimes the beetle would pass it. And this was the best time of all. And on it went over oceans. Oh, I'm looking for my missing piece over land and overseas. So grease my knees and please my bees. I'm looking for my missing piece. Through swamps and jungles, 
up mountains and down mountains until one day lo and behold i found my missing piece it sang i found my missing piece so grease my knees and fleece my bees i found my <laughs> wait a minute said the piece before you go greasing your knees and fleecing your bees i'm not your missing piece i'm nobody's piece i am my own piece and even if i was somebody's missing piece i don't think i'd be yours oh it said sadly i'm sorry to have bothered you and it on it rolled It found another piece. But this one was too small. And this one was too big. And this one was too sharp. And this one was too square. One time, it seemed to have found the perfect piece, but it didn't hold it tightly enough. Uh-oh, and lost it. Another time, it held too tightly, and it broke. There's the broken piece. And so on and on it rolled. Having adventures. And falling into holes. And bumping into stone walls. And then one day it came upon another piece that seemed to be just right. I'll take this cover off while I hold the book. Hi, it said. Hi, said the piece. Are you anybody else's piece? Missing piece? Uh, not that I know of. Well, maybe you want to be your own piece? I can be somebody's. I can be someone's and still be my own. Well, maybe you don't want to be mine. Well, maybe I do. Maybe we won't fit. Well... Way it rolled and because it was now complete it rolled faster and faster and faster and it rolled faster than it ever had before so fast that uh oh it couldn't stop to talk to the worm <gasps> we're small flower it was too fast for the butterfly to land but it, it it could sing, couldn't it? It could sing its happy song. At last it could sing, I found my missing piece. And it began to sing. I found my missing piece, I found my pen, my pen, so grease my feet and grease my Oh my. Now that it was complete. It couldn't sing its song. It couldn't sing its favorite song. Aha, uh -huh, it thought. So that's how it is. So it stopped rolling. 
and it set the piece down gently. And slowly rolled away. And as it rolled, it softly sang. I found my missing piece. I found I'm looking for that missing piece. Heidi ho, here I go, looking for my missing piece. The butterfly is back. These pages are hard to turn. The butterflies flying away and the piece is gone. The end. Now, I told you that um, we can learn some important lessons from this book and you're probably wondering what are those lessons that we can learn um, from this book and Actually, um, this book kind of um, raises some um, important questions. Like, um, first thing that we can learn from this book is it raises questions about what is happiness. As you can see in this book, like the circle is is trying. He thinks that this finding a missing piece is what's really truly going to make him happy. But what we learned after he found the missing piece, like the perfect piece that fit perfect. However, the circle discovers that it can no longer enjoy some of its favorite activities. It now rolls too quickly for the butterfly to land on top. It cannot talk to the beetle or smell the flower. And it can no longer even sing its favorite song that it came up with. Um... So maybe finding that what we think is going to be hap make us happy, maybe may not truly make us happy. Um, there's not a an easy, quick fix that we just should just be happy with who we are, and how we were created, and how we're all different. And that's the next lesson I I think this book really teaches us on, is it raises questions about our identity, the missing piece. This book tells us that finding that perfect peace can maybe make us happy, but only for a short time. We need to slow down. We need to know who we are as an individual. What makes you, you? Some of us might be good musicians. Some of us may be good athletes, artists, writers. It's important for us to find our own genius so that we can, when we find that genius, we can stay true to ourselves. Um, if we can stay true to ourselves, that allows us to fit together with others, other people, crowds of friends, groups of friends, or let us allows us to fit with other pieces. But even though we fit with other pieces, it still allows us if we know our own identity and we own our own, know our own personal identity, then we can still hold on to that. And because what makes you you, what makes you special, what makes you um, unique is something that's really important to hold on to. And I hope you never forget who you are or lose your identity. I hope you never lose your genius. That was my read aloud. Um, thank you for listening. Have a great day.